Ready? We got there this morning. Real quickly. Bold habanero barbecue. Get it. Is it hot? Spicy? Is that what you're doing? Mm -mm. It's kind of tingly a little bit. It's like it's it's almost sweet. You know what? I'm gonna <laughs> It's not burning. We'll be right back. It's not burning. Is it burning you? No. Oh, you were teasing. <laughs> Good morning. Why don't you take a bite of your almonds and I'll tell you. No, 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 they're good. They were, just, <laughs> they were. It was just too sweet. Yeah, they were. They were too sweet. Welcome to wake up. Uh, we wake, wake up. up. I'm oh, Pastor Jason. These are great. I'm Pastor Scott. <laughs> yeah, we're so glad you joined us this morning. Um, and so whether you're just sitting down for some coffee with us, or you're spilling things <laughs> all over the floor. I'm eating them. My personality type can't deal with this. I know you got stuff all over. I can't, you know what's I can't funny? I forgot it. about him. I've been wanting to do this. I'm gonna put him right there. And That's see gonna if he bother makes it me this, the whole the time. whole show. We put him right there. Can you do it? Or maybe if you're already on your way to work, we welcome you. And we got a scripture today. We do. We got a great scripture. We got just great. He's supposed. 12, no. Twelve seconds. All right. We're Even going he again. It, though, Here we like, go again. You know what? Right when I grabbed it, I thought to myself, Oh my gosh, he just touched it. And he, and I, I didn't bet want you, to eat it. He's probably a little spicier. The, the germaphobe and the mesophobe, I, can't, I don't know what to do. So we already know what one. Oh, yeah. Messy. Messy is more important. is more powerful. And today we're talking about the voices in your head <laughs> and which one's the more powerful one. Yeah. Right, right? voice, wrong voice. That right was my voice? message. Jason's voice, the messy voice, is overcoming the anti-germ voice. Both of them are spirit-led, though. <laughs> the voice you're listening to that's causing you to do that, yeah. that is not the voice of, oh, my gosh. You know, That's what my voice said to do. I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm not gonna listen to it. <laughs> and this is what you got to do to the wrong voice. You have to ignore. It. Now that watch is this. Terrible. It's absolutely horrible coffee. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the show though. Now your voice is all of a sudden you're the inner critic. That's the, you're the critic. I voice realized today. that was the wrong. My I need a filter. <laughs> I had no filter this morning. This is the worst cup of coffee I've ever. It had. actually tastes like burnt mud. Like it's not just mud. It's burnt mud. No, no, no. It's burnt mud made with <laughs> reclaimed water. Is your coffee good today? I hope yours is yeah. good today. I hope it's good to the last drop. <laughs> All right, so you got Jesus here. Yes. Before he gets going on his ministry, yes. the enemy, usually before you go to do something big, the enemy's trying to steal something from you. And he likes to do it with the voice. Yeah. He wants to come and with his voice come in there and tell you this and that. But you see here in Luke 4, yeah. when the devil came to him, you see, he comes to him and he says, hey man, this is what you should do. You should... Uh, throw yourself down, right? Or actually, he was hungry, so the first one is he's make this stone into some bread. Make some food, man. That's kind of cool. Yeah. If I could do that, you know what? I'd make some stuff. I'd weigh about 380 if I could make <laughs> stones into bread. Yeah. Especially if it was cool, like the uh, Outback bread. Yeah. Oh my God, be all warm and toasty. And just turn in stone into bread. Yeah, the enemy wouldn't have to work on me hard. He's like, turn that in. I'm like, it's already bread. Yeah. Eat up. And your wife doesn't buy a lot of bread for the house, right? She's no, like we're a new, off She's bread. like a, a, a bread Nazi. Maybe that's why I'm so like that right now. Yeah. I would just do, every, all the stone would be bread. I'd yeah. just cover the whole earth with bread. What a great earth that would be. If you could do that, you would just go home and your wife would be like, do you miss the bread? And you're like, no, no, I'm fine. I turn Camelback Why Mountain do you keep into bringing, a piece of bread. Why do you keep bringing river rocks in the house? No reason. No reason. I'm going to take them into the bathroom. But what did eat. Jesus say? Man does not live by bread alone. He said, it is written. And you'll find out through each of his tests, every time the enemy came, the inner voice came that was contrary to God's word. Yeah. He combated it, he fought it with the Word of God. He did. And this is where you need to be because remember the Word says, cast out every thought that's contrary to the Word of God. Yeah. Right? Capture every thought that's contrary to this right here. So you have a voice that says that you're not that smart. You say, wait a second, it is written, yeah. I have the mind of Christ. You have a voice that's saying you're, you're on an internet TV right now and you have almonds in your teeth. That's the voice. It might Do be, I really? I don't know if yours is saying that, but that's what mine keeps saying <laughs> is you have almonds in your teeth and everyone's looking at it's gross. And I keep trying to suck them out, but then I know I it look... <laughs> You, you know you, that look? What's funny is you, you some made, mouthwash over here. You made me do it. Why don't you wash it out with a coffee? <laughs> I don't want that in my mouth ever again. <laughs> Whatever that flavor actually, is. I would rather have the habanero almonds for breakfast. That's been touched by my hands. Oh, really? 
Uh, you know, uh, Jesus was led, and we're talking about being spirit-led. He yeah. was led by the Spirit mm -hmm. into the wilderness. Isn't that interesting? And that's where he was, he began this temptation process, right? And so the, the, the enemy brings a voice, but the Spirit of God brings a voice, right? And we need to learn how to be led by the Spirit and not led by our flesh, our emotions, or by what Satan's trying to tempt us with. And the voices are so different. But he shows us here, like you say, how to combat that voice, coming back at it with a scripture, coming back at it with what, what is the, the Bible calls the Word of God, the sword of the Spirit. It is written. So this, the Spirit partners with the Word. Mm -hmm. Like they, they're working together to create a difference in your life. And so uh, the Spirit of God wants a sword, right? It, mm -hmm. it doesn't stand, it wants a sword. It's the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. It is written. How important is it that you sharpen your sword, though? Because a lot of Christians, they don't have the, their sword sharp. So when the enemy comes with, hey, you should do this, they go, okay. They go, maybe I should. I maybe am hungry. I right, right? They don't have a, it is, man, you should, right? The, it, you should skip church this weekend. And you should say, no, it is written that those that are planted in the house of the Lord, they flourish. Yeah. Well, so you're, you're planted there. It doesn't mean you have to go. <laughs> right? See, I was like, See, right? Yeah, he was the saying? voice. You got to be able to combat that voice. Because the enemy, he's sneaky. He's been doing this. Just like you go back to Eve, the first thing he does is he brings you part of the truth, doesn't he? He comes yeah. to Eve, says, why don't you eat this fruit? And she's like, well, no, no, God says that we yeah. can't eat the fruit. He's like, did God say you can't eat them? Every fruit? Yeah, like, surely oh my God. God didn't say. God wants you to go to church every Sunday? Oh, Seriously, all weird. of them? Oh, every <laughs> All of the Sundays? Oh, wow. So he... The enemy always comes with a question. He yeah. gets you to question the Word of and God. And he'll even bring a scripture. You know, he brought a scripture to Jesus, He knows too. the Bible. He, said, he took him out of the mountain. He said, you know, he quoted out of the book of Psalms 91. He says, you're going to jump off here, and the angels are going to catch you, and you're going to fulfill a prophecy. He was actually asking Christ to fulfill a prophecy. Mm -hmm. But if Christ had done it, he would have been obeying Satan. Right. You don't obey Satan. Don't There's, ever obey Satan. Satan's asking me to do something to, like, and Satan was trying to figure out, are you, like, Satan was trying to figure out, are you the son of God? <laughs> oh, you're right. I never thought, I never saw it that way. He's like, if you're the son of God, can you make this stone into bread? Because I'm trying to check some stuff out here and I'm worried. Like, his people, Wait a second. think about it, like, his people had come to him and were like, hey, yeah. we got a guy. <laughs> so, and, yeah. Where's he at? And the guy's like, Nazareth. And he's yeah. like, yeah, we got a guy in Nazareth. He hadn't done nothing wrong. And Satan's like, oh, stop it. Like, he's like, no, nothing. he's done nothing wrong. And like, you know what? If you something. want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Yeah, he's, like, he's a teenage boy. He did nothing wrong. Nothing wrong? Seriously, he made it all through the teenage years. Yeah. yeah. He did. He well, you think he might be the Messiah? He I mean, could be. So he came to him like so he's Satan's like, like mm, if you are, if you're the son of God, we gotta check. I gotta, I gotta bump this dude off. And man. he's trying. He's got an inner voice. He's like, what should I ask for? He's like, I'm hungry for bread. Yeah, can you turn it into bread? <laughs> he's watching to see. He's I'm on, on, the, I'm on the stupid wheat belly fast. Satan is like, it's, it's from the devil. Yeah, and if the angels, like if he had jumped off, and the angels would have bore him up and fulfilled that prophecy, Satan would be like, oh, that's him. That's the son of God. That's him. That's him. Wow. Hey, we got to pray over their day. Yeah. So uh, why don't you pray? All right. Yeah. Dear Father, Lord, we ask that you just bless their day, Lord. Help them to, to battle those voices. Help them to sh get a hunger in them to know your word, mm. to be able to stop the questions of the enemy, to silence that inner voice that continues to try and question and tries to steer them in the wrong direction, Lord. But instead, we're going to be people that know your voice. Mm. We know the Bible says that, that my sheep know my voice. And so how do we know his voice? The more I hear his word, the more I know his voice. Lord, we ask that you bless their day, prosper their day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, we hope you enjoyed today. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Share it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, you're new to the show, we welcome you. And uh, I would just ask that you can subscribe by just subscribing to the YouTube channel. And All notify subscribers you. get in on Early Rapture. That's one of the things that if, you, or if you're a subscriber, Early Rapture. Oh, right. So, yeah, it's a done deal. So if you want to go early, if you want to stay for the tribulation and all that, whatever that is, uh, don't subscribe. Otherwise, I encourage you to subscribe. That's a strong move. <laughs> I, don't I feel know. like that's strong. <laughs> Be blessed. We'll see you on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> but when the redemptive power of Jesus made you clean, washed your filth away, then God said, now I'm going to do something new. I'm going to pour out my spirit on all. That's going to change and solve the problem that I've had all this time. I'm going to give them my intentions and my will as desires on the inside of them. I was crucified in Christ, yet I no longer live. Christ lives in me. So what he wants to do now is what I want to do. 
His spirit, his intentions, his desires have invaded my desires and taken control through desire. Where command used to fail, now he gets me to want to do what he wants me to do.